What's up? It's your girl, the Prophetic Princess, coming to you with a word of warning. So this morning around 5.30, so I don't know when I'm going to post this, but today is Wednesday. So this morning, about 5.30 this morning, I woke up and I kept hearing overturn, overturn, overturn it, overturn, overturn, overturn it. So I remembered that there was a scripture talking about overturning it, right? So I went to Googled it. Let me be clear because I didn't know what the scripture was. So I Googled it. Ended up in Ezekiel chapter 21. Now the part where he was talking about overturning some things, depending on what depending on what version you read, it may, I don't know why I didn't use my stand, my tripod. Depending on what version you're reading, it may say ruin, ruin it, ruin it, ruin it. But basically God was saying, listen, I'm about to snatch some leaders down and i'm gonna give these positions to those that deserve it now when i was reading this morning 5 30 it's a couple of verses in there that talk about the sword the sword so while i was reading literally i was reading it and it said the sword the sword at the same time i was hearing holy spirit say the glory is coming to the church glory is coming to the church now before you start screaming hollering jumping and all of this i've talked about this plenty of times before it is dangerous to call on glory when you are not living right many people cry out for god's glory because they really don't know what that means if you are not living right it's dangerous to be calling on the glory so i'm reading it says the sword the sword and he says the glory literally at the same time glory is coming to the church and guess what the glory is coming in the form of a sword and in the form of god's judgment now if you've been following me for any length of time this is nothing new you know they used to call me the doom and gloom prophet but i release whatever god tells me to release i say what he tells me to say because period right but the judgment of the lord is about to hit the church some of you have been crying out for glory well you're about to see the glory but it's coming in the form of a sword so when you start seeing it's already happened technically this is already happening and i'm like well god this is already happening why are you even giving me this but again it's a strong warning and i think he's still trying to give people a chance to repent to turn to change their ways because baby glory is coming you've been crying out for it whether you're living right or not okay he's about to sweep right on through here so when you see people dying once again, I'm talking about the church specifically. People dying and it seems like, oh, how in the world? It's too early. They're dying premature, are they? Are they? Or is it the judgment of the Lord? When you see people with their positions being taken, stop blaming everything on the devil. When you see even more exposure, sickness is another thing that came to me. Regarding this, you're going to see sicknesses break out in the church. Be careful what you put on Satan. Some of y'all going to be saying, oh, it's the devil, the devil busy. The devil. Mm -mm, it's glory. You you wanted the glory. He's bringing his glory in the form of a sword. He's releasing judgment. And judgment begins at the house. Again, this message is for the church. When I woke up fully, I'm talking about a few hours later because I went back to sleep, okay? When I woke up fully, I went back and read it again before even making this a video. Judgment is coming. Do not ask me. Again, this is nothing new for me to release. But don't ask me why he is giving me this message again when I've released it so many times. And when we're literally anybody with eyes to see, we're in the middle of it. I don't know. Again, I feel like it's because he's trying. He's gracious and merciful, even in the midst of his judgment. God is still gracious. The Bible says he has not dealt with us according to our iniquities. Because, baby, if he gave us what we really deserve, we would all be dead. Wouldn't nobody be streaming? Because we would all be dead. It is what it is. So I'm telling you now, repent. And in the words of Prophetess Millie, don't get in my comment section playing around. Just because he gives me words like this does not mean I am exempt. Absolutely not. He puts me in a chokehold. He corrects me whenever I'm out of line with anything. Baby, He, God sends quick correction to me. I don't know about y'all. I don't know the kind of relationship y'all got. But I don't want you all to look like, oh, she thinks she this, that, and the third, and she don't do no wrong, da, da, da. No, it's not about that, but we should be mature. I got saved when I was seven years old. The Bible talks about being perfect, not in the sense of you won't do anything wrong, but perfect in the sense of being mature. So there are some of you 
that are trying to ride off of the wave of grace and mercy. Shall the grace of God continue to abound? I think that's how the scripture goes, something like that. He's just supposed to keep giving you grace. You're not a baby Christian. He's just supposed to keep having mercy. You're blatantly disrespecting him, sinning. You, it ain't even a struggle. You're choosing to do this over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you just want him to keep having grace, keep extending grace, keep having mercy. Okay. The glory is coming. And it's coming in the form of a sword. Bent. Bent.